today let's look into how to visualize the image colors in a 3D histogram format inside DaVinci Resolve's Fusion. Now I have opened DaVinci Resolve and let's jump into the Fusion page. Now I have added a small clip. Now you can visualize the colors in this image in a 3D histogram inside Fusion. So to do that let's split this viewer and in one of the viewer we can right click and go to weaves and you have the option for 3d histogram now you will be able to visualize the colors of your image or scene in a 3d format and you have different options for the histogram the sampling you also have the option to make it solid and you can weave it in a 3d format and there's also these lines so basically you're visualizing all the colors in the image in a 3d format you can also analyze any LUTs and this is another flexible way of uh, doing this so and the other thing is you can also add DCTLs inside fusion so let's add the dctl node and you already know i have released a new set of uh, tools to manipulate the colors in an image basically the hue saturation luminance and the density of the colors in your image the color twist bundle and have this color twist bundle here in which you can change the colors in the image so let me enable it in the viewer and this, this allows you to change the colors in the image and it can be precise precisely targeted now back to the topic now if you want to analyze what the changes these dctls tools do to the image what you can do is copy this node and control shift v which is an instance which creates an instance of this tool now this is an instance now you can add a say let cube creator and you can connect it to this instance dctl and you can add let cube analyzer Now I can view this and let me set this 3D histogram back to the defaults. Now as you see, we have created a LUT cube and we are using this instance of this DS DCTL so that once when we make changes in this, that also gets reflected in this instance and we are just analyzing it in this view. Now you have a lot of options. When you select LUT cube creator, you can select whether you want horizontal or vertical or a rectangle. You can also choose the size of these uh, blocks. Now I can make changes to this DCTL to see how it affects the image. So this is wrapping the red hues and the blue. Let me say the blue and cyan sector. Since you can use this DCTLs now inside Fusion, you now have the options of animating it with the help of modifiers. Now let's say, um, let's change the color of the, this magenta based on some music or a dot wave file. We can easily do that. Now let me add a small clip, a dot wave file which I already have it here. Let's say I have this dance with me early. Now I added the music. Now back into the Fusion page. Now I can right click on this, any of the color and modify with 
and select a modifier like audio wave. Now this audio wave modifier is available in the reactor and you can choose the same wave file which you have already selected. And let's go back to the tools. Now it will be automatically keyframed. Now when you play, now let me reduce the size sampling. So there you have it. You have you have the option to create any kind of uh, creative effects, which was previously uh, only available in the color tab. Now you can select any DCTL you like. Say let's change the saturation instead. You can also uh, modify the settings of this audio wave modifier like select the max the min or the average also you can choose the filter options So there you have it. If you'd like to check out the color twist, you also have a demo, you can check it on my website. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please do subscribe if you like this video and more tutorials are coming up and thank you. Have a nice day.